And then... Oh shoot. We move that over one more. Okay, so let's actually put the, this... Here? No, because then the water won't have enough room. That there. And then we'll pick this up. So... Go right beside it. <clears throat> and then this we'll pick up. I think we'll put it right there. And the other watering trough will pretty much go where we had the other one, I guess. Oops. How do I cancel that? I'll just place it again. And I didn't realize you had these as well. That's neat. Maybe this is an update. I never had this when I played. You can build little garden plots too. And you can plant your seeds and whatnot. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, what do I want to plant? Plant some of this. Oh, I only had one. Oh, I had one of that too. Okay. We'll find them. Get the spirit too. Hey kid, it's so punny. Luckily, you don't want to care too, too much for your pets, ah. or your animals. Um, you just kind of have to go back and clean it a little bit. And, you know, just kind of reward them. Okay, so, Groffles like... I guess I don't have it. I don't know why not. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Hmm. There, now he'll tell me how to get Cerulean seed. Cilium. Stone plus psyllium. That's that plant that we've been picking up. Now we'll lure one of them back to our farm. There you go. He enjoys it. Now he'll just follow me back. Takes his time. Oh, of course he's going to sleep. Come on. Alright, there you go. We have a Grappa. Yeah, so with the Carpentry Guild, you can get a lot of cool things. You can get wooden fences, uh, archways, um, yeah, a lot of cool things. Let's see if I can show you how much it costs to hire a farmhand. Oh, gee. So, 
let's just give him this. And mm. that's at 8%. The one knackle fish, which was worth what? 40 coins or something? Is giving him an 8% rating. So you have to give him a lot for the beer farm here. I don't really know if there's a huge benefit to it, but I guess he cleans it up and whatnot. Okay, so I'm not going to follow the sailors right now because that task is actually just going to lead me back to the beach every time. You actually have to find them yourself. It doesn't lead you to them. So, what is next? I just gotta talk to the dude again. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess he sleeps twice. I forgot about that. Alright, so we'll clear this, get a treasure chest, uh, I think, get a cat, unless it's off to the side. I think it's up there. Sometimes they're in these boxes as well. Oh, it's just right behind the chest. Another one up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go back to the cave that we woke up in. Um, some secrets in there. Alright, once I get through this cave area, I'm going to, I guess, stop the stream, because it'll be the first hour. Um, my plan is to pretty much just play the first hour of the games, unless people want me to continue. I will absolutely continue. Um, that, and if I break this, there's something back here as well. 
This is a totem. Well, stage stone, but it's a totem, totem of sorts. Okay, so he wants me to craft five items. Something else. I think there's a treasure chest out here. If I'm not mistaken. I might have to get it from the other way, though. Where's the cat? Don't think there's anything out here. I'm just gonna drown. Why not? Alright, so he wants me to craft five things. So let's just do something really quick. I'm gonna get some more of these. Get three of those, and I'll need twine at some point. And I guess some bundle sticks. So there we go. It's all stuff I'm gonna need anyway, so I might as well. I'm back to them, and there we go. Now this will lead me to the kind of common area where Ari is, or how do you pronounce that? The spirit mother. And uh, also your path to the other biomes. You got uh, like uh, the snow, like the mountain, you got like a snowy plain, forest, um, you know, a whole bunch of different biomes. You, you discover them, and when you're in those areas, that's when you unlock these fast travel between areas. I never actually walked out here to see what would happen. Oh, you hit a wall there. Okay. Cool. Let's go back. The only thing I dislike about this is you have to remember which one's which. There's no names for them. Um, even just like a little guild name as you walk up to them would be nice. Even when you scroll through the toolbar here at the top left, it'd be nice if it told you what seed was what. Uh, just so you know which one you had equipped for you know, like the the graffles or those other things, you know, when you want to plant something in a certain area, um, things like that, it would just be kind of useful. Okay, so apparently there's another cat here somewhere. Suppose it could be above me. In fact, I believe it is above me. kind of neat too that if you came up to a thing, like say this, and you click on it, it would automatically switch to that tool. Or if you came up to a tree, it would automatically switch to your axe. Um, just because the game is very basic like that and accessible, I feel like it would just be, you know, something to add to it. It's not difficult or ta taxing to just switch between the things, but... I don't know, just make it more accessible. Okay, so it's not directly above here. Cat that is. I guess it's up at the next spot. 